Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I thought I'd go back in time and review a whatchamacallit, which I don't see anymore. But they still make them. And I saw this at Chup's Country Cover when we were shopping the Amish place. And they said all candy bars were 80 cents. So this is 80 cents. Had those things said deliciously, deliciously crisp on the top. And it said made with chocolate, peanut flavored crisps, and caramel. Now, I have a story behind this candy bar, too. I mean, it was uh, one of the newer candy bars that came out. Now, Wikipedia said it was introduced in 1978. But I didn't hear about till like, sometime in the 80s. And they had, like, these line of commercials. I said, boy, I'd like to try that candy bar out. Along, and there was a couple other types of candy I was fascinated to try out. Like, uh, nerds. Like, the Willy Wonka stuff. Like, nerds, tart and tiny. I didn't care for dinosaur eggs. So dinosaur eggs were okay. Runs and stuff. And then, uh, cause I remember ball caps when I was little. I love ball caps. And uh, the other ones, aside from that, I mean, that's a branch, so I mean, that's looking for stuff. But the other that came out that I knew of that I was really happy to find out, when E.T. came out, tried Reese's Pieces. That was a big deal. That was a perfect product tie-in. And then Atari, like, months later, Atari did a video game, which was a disaster. But Reese's Pieces was a huge hit. And then... Uh, I remember kids started talking about Sour Patch Kids, so I had to try Sour Patch Kids. But when Watching Macaw came out, I said, I'd like to try this. And what we used to do was, um, there was a place called Edinburgh Mall, and it's still around. It was, I mean, it used to be really hopping. It's not hopping that much anymore. It still has businesses in there. I mean, they used to have, like, a big a shoe store my dad loved going to. That I mean, you know, when we had, like, more stuff around the area and stuff. And they had, like, a far more... <coughs> Not a fart more, far more. Uh, it had IGA, which is like a sure fine grocery store, which out of business is now a Dollar General, which is like everything else. I mean, it's, it's a lot of empty businesses, but back then they had a ton of businesses there. And they had like a big thing. I I never seen it before. When you get in there, there's a whole bunch of those uh, operated rides for the kids. You put a quarter in, stuff like that. And the last time, I remember AJ was there, there was one ride that you put a quarter in, and it rises up and goes up and down and up and then I put AJ in that a couple times. He loved it. But, I mean, they got rid of that a long time ago. And they had a big thing of bubblegum machines around it and stuff. They got rid of all that stuff back 2003 or something like that, whatever. And it's a, form, it's a shell of its former self. But it used to have a lot of really cool stuff in it when it was hopping. I remember going to Farmore a lot. Um... Uh, and ever we go to the uh, Edinburgh Mall, we go far more. And Dad would get me a whatchamacallit candy bar. I remember first trying it in the car, and I really liked it. And this is way before uh, food review. So let's see if I still like it. I used to be one of my favorite candy bars. But I haven't had one in a long time. This was 80 cents. I didn't get one when I was at, uh, oh, Cracker Barrel. I mean, I should have, but I stay with other stuff. I don't know. It looks like let's try it out. Hmm. Remember crispy texture? Yeah. Hmm. Like your, you know, a wafer, a wafer bar, a wafer thin, with a little bit of a caramel top. So it's got like a cross between. I don't know, like a Clark bar, a Kit Kat, and a Snickers kind of with a caramel on top. They're really good. Mmm, that's delicious. I just a 10 out of 10, so it's fantastic. Well, until next time, bye. Please take care of my legion.